I'm gonna tell you my dead name. And do not expect any other trans creators to do this, but I have to share it with you because I have been laughing to myself for so long because it's so funny to me. Okay, for context, my chosen name is Mike. I go by Mike. My, <laughs> my grandma sent me this whole letter about how it's too big of a change. She's not gonna call me Mike, da 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 da. My legal name, the birth name my family has been calling me for years that they refuse to change from, is Mike Uh. That's right. My birth name has the name Mike in it. I made it so easy for them. I was like, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna choose a name that is the easiest thing to change to. But they are obsessed with one syllable. It is a one syllable difference. Micah, drop the end. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to learn a new name. You just have to stop a little early. And they went crazy. Th My mom's like, I chose this name for you. I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> and you know what's even funnier? My parents, my mom, named me after a man. They named me after the prophet Micah in a Bible, who is a man. And I turned out to be a man, and they're surprised. Here's the kicker. Some of my family already have called me Mike for years because it's a nickname. It's... Alright guys, so we gotta talk about a TikTok that's going viral of this young gender non-conforming girl who broke down in tears because her grandma refuses to address her as Mike, which is her new name, not her dead name, aka the name that her parents <laughs> blessed her with. Um, she decides that, hey, you know what? Uh, I don't like my real name. I want to go by Mike. And, you know, it, it seems like she might be upset, okay, that, that her grandma, um, you know, doesn't want to address her as Mike, uh, even though it seems like her, her grandma is being pretty nice about it. And I want to talk about it because there's been a whole lot of backlash on the internet towards grandma, right, who refuses to address her. Uh, her granddaughter uh, by her new name. So while further ado, let's go ahead and roll this, this clip. Hi, so recently I texted my parents because I'm gonna go, be go home for Christmas and I said, hey, do you mind calling me Mike when I come back for Christmas? And then when I got home today, I got this letter from my grandma and it is addressed to Miss Old Name. Not actually, but you know, I don't want to say my real name on the internet. Dearest dead name. On this, our blessed mother's feast day, I am writing to tell you that I will not address you as Mike. My decision is probably not a surprise to you. Others may comply with your request. My anguish in your chosen name and what that means has to do with your eternal soul. Know that I love you more than words could ever possibly convey to you. No matter how you decide to identify yourself does not change my deep love for you, honey. Because of my concerns for your soul and your mental health, I am spending more time with Jesus in adoration. The, my cousin's last names, are doing the same for you. Um, then she lists my one, two, three, four, five cousins that are below the age of ten, who are apparently, um... Offering up special personal sacrifices for me, who I didn't tell um, that I wanted to go by Mike. I didn't want to. I haven't talked with your godmother and her family, but I'm sure they would do the same for you. Do you know how much you are cherished and loved? It would be a joy to see you and be with you during the I mean, Christmas um, a celebration of our Lord's birth. Yeah, so um, I got a couple things to say real quick before we get into this next clip, okay? Because grandma is, is getting a, a lot of backlash on the internet, right? Um, first and foremost, uh, I'm not sure if this person is crying because grandma loves her, right? Grandma's telling her, look, I'm not going to go along with your delusions, <laughs> right? I'm going to call you by your birth name. I'm not calling you by, you know, your new name or whatever, your woke name, right? That's what I'm calling it, the woke name. I'm not calling you by your woke name. I'm calling by your birth name, okay? Um, I'm not sure if she's crying because she realized how much grandma actually loves her, okay? And, and is praying for her and <laughs> trying to help her through, you know, whatever she's going through. Or whether or not she's crying because grandma doesn't want to go along with, you know, her her play-play world, right? Um, I, I feel like 
it is the latter, okay? I feel like uh, she's crying because grandma uh, informed her that, hey, you know, I, I am not going to go along with, you know, um, your, your worldview, right? Uh, all I got to say is this. Uh, I think it's clear that grandma loves her, okay? She has a great grandma. She has a base grandma, okay? Grandma, again, is, is trying to help uh, this individual, right? Uh, mental health, grandma <laughs> mentioned that. So grandma obviously <laughs> believes that you know there may be some 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 issues going on here right and, and she's okay with that okay she's just saying look i'm not gonna go along with it i'm gonna pray for you uh but i gotta say this you know if this girl is gonna live her life as a man as a boy like they want to then you gotta toughen up right you can't be boohoo whining and crying on the internet like this right you're showing too much estrogen right there's a lot of estrogen that i'm getting uh from you know th th this video okay so Again, you got to show a little bit more testosterone. You got to man up a bit, right? Grow some cojones, right? If you want to live your life as a man. I'm just saying. But like I said, grandma's facing some backlash on the internet. And I want to show you guys um, just a little bit of the backlash here. Uh, as uh, one person went as far as to say that uh, grandma was not acting Christ-like. She was actually acting anti-Christ-like. <laughs> Take a look. I'm writing to tell you that I will not address you as Mike. My decision is probably not a... It's midnight, and I gotta make a video for this kid. The young man in this video wrote a letter to his family right before Christmas, asking them to please call him by his chosen name of Mike. He came out as transgender, and he got a letter from his grandma that said because she's Christian and a follower of Christ, she cannot call him Mike. Now I'm just talking to the kid. Sweetie, my name is Annie. I have a 17-year-old son who is female to male transgender. I'm also a Christian. I wanna tell you a couple things. You are absolutely perfect the way you are. God doesn't make mistakes. You are exactly who he meant you to be. And even if you don't believe in God and you're not religious, I want you to wipe those tears away. I want you to hold your head up high because we are proud of you. And your grandma, she don't deserve you. And she is certainly not showing you the love of Christ. In fact, your grandmother is acting anti-Christ. I'm not sure that your grandma really knows who Jesus is. Let me tell you one of my favorite Bible stories. There is a very religious Pharisee named Simon. Back then, they spent their whole lives studying scripture. I mean, they knew it like the back of their hand. From the time they were little, they were reading and interpreting scripture. And this guy was high ranking, so he was, you know, he was well versed. Jesus goes over to Simon's house. And back then, it was customary, especially because they lived in the desert, to wash your guest's feet and to greet them with a kiss. But Simon didn't do either of that. While Jesus and Simon are visiting, a woman comes running up to Jesus and it's implied that this woman is a woman of the night. She breaks an expensive bottle of perfume. She's crying. She washes Jesus's feet with her hair. She's probably grateful because Jesus has been going around healing all the people in her village at this point. Simon is grossed out. Simon says in front of her, uh, that woman is a sinner. Why are you letting her touch you? And Jesus tells Simon, she's more righteous than you are because God looks at the heart. And you don't have to believe in Jesus to hear what I'm trying to tell you here. Don't listen to your grandma. Don't listen to her. She is using religion to justify hate, but she don't even know her own book. And if she's treating you like that, she don't know her savior either. I'm sorry that they treated you like that. I'm sorry they don't see your worth, your value, how brave you are for even telling them and how strong you are now. You know, Jesus said that what you do to the least of these, you do to me. Christians like your grandma would put Jesus right back on a cross. And if you need a new mama, I already got four boys. What's one more? Come on. Love yourself. I love you too. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what part of the Bible <laughs> would suggest that Jesus would go along with transgenderism, right? I'm really trying to figure out where this progressive Christianity comes from, where people think that Jesus would be a uh, rainbow trans BLM flag <laughs> waving hippie liberal socialist, right? I I'm just trying to figure out exactly where they get that from because um, I'm pretty sure it it's been made very clear, <laughs> right? Uh, in the Bible that, you know, God, aka Jesus, <laughs> right, uh, is some type of, you know, hippie liberal, okay, because I'm telling you, 
um, in Deuteronomy 2, 2, and 5, uh, God makes very clear that, hey, a man is not supposed to dress like a woman and a woman is not supposed to dress like a man. Like, that is detestable in the eyes of God, okay? I mean, it, it's there. And, you know, again, uh, don't give me that, oh, my God, well, uh, it doesn't count because that's the Old Testament. No, 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 no. Uh, Jesus made very clear <laughs> in Matthew 5 and 17 that he did not come to abolish the law, right? He actually came to build on the law, to fulfill the law, right? That's what he came to do, okay? So don't sit here and try to say, oh, none of the stuff in the Old Testament counts. Now, I don't want to hear it, right? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where these people get the idea that this stuff would be cool, okay, <laughs> in the eyes of Jesus or God. And just because Jesus accepted <laughs> sinners, okay, uh, again, this is where kind of the whole um, love the sinner, hate the sin comes from. That doesn't mean that the sin is okay. Okay, I think I think she's getting it mixed up here, right? I think you're getting it mixed up. Grandma is acting very Jesus-like. <laughs> Grandma is saying, look, I accept you. I'm just not going to go along with, um, you know, your, your, your worldview, right? Your reality that I don't agree with, okay? As a Christian, she's not going to go along with it. But she's accepting. She's not going to tell her grand uh, daughter that, hey, she can't come to dinner or that I don't want to see her uh, because uh, her granddaughter wants to be a boy. No, she's actually doing the exact opposite. She's telling her how much she loves her and <laughs> wants to see her for Christmas. But, hey, look, I'm I'm telling you up front. <laughs> I'm not going to call you Mike, right? Again, you know, I, I think the person here that's actually really spreading hate is this woke TikToker that uh, basically call uh grandma the antichrist just because uh grandma doesn't want to uh call her granddaughter mike you're actually one that's spreading hate because you're trying to spread hate and division within this family that you really don't know anything about uh simply because you don't like the fact that grandma doesn't want to use uh her granddaughter's woke name right you're 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 the bad person in this situation right you are the bad person in this situation so like i said uh grandma is based okay grandma is doing the right thing uh grandma is acting very christ-like and i think we need a whole lot more grandmas in this world right i think that that is what we need okay um so uh yeah you should cherish grandma while she's here okay <laughs> cherish her She's a great grandma because once she's gone, she's gone and you can't get her back. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.